of the sisters and shit. Mm. Yeah? Hello? Hi! Happy New Year! Yeah, very happy. Take a look around. Don't you notice anything different? What? We've been robbed. No. Yes, we have. Oh no! Yeah, they, take, they took Ju Joe's stereo, pets. Uh, don't worry, they haven't taken anything of yours. You're safe. You're locked. They couldn't break in. The thing is, nobody can open your door. And the video is gone, but it was rented, so hopefully the insurance will cover it. Oh. Uh, I've got to call my parents. And call the landlord as well. He's always so cheeky. The fucking bastard is only concerned about his shop downstairs. He promised he would make us an entrance of our own. And did he do it? And now what? 250 pounds wasted. What a nice Christmas present. Let's see what excuse is gonna give us. Hello, Mr. Spencer. Hi. Hi, yeah, it's Bjorn from Above the Shop. Hi. I, I've just come back from holidays and I've come to find we've had a burglary. Well, it's very unfortunate. As you're well aware, this is an unsafe area. I told you to get insurance. Yeah, but Mr. Spencer, I... Yep. Hello? Hello? I see. It looks like it's gonna open, but then it doesn't. Fucking bastard. Just switch the damn mobile off on me. He doesn't care about anything. He knows we're moving out after Christmas. Yeah, it's true. When you told him we're gonna move out, he didn't quite like it, did he? Well, you know he comes up here whenever he wants to take the heater coins, but I swear he goes through all our stuff. Yeah, at least my stereo is okay. Try using the key. Yeah. Sometimes if you put a hand away, you turn the keys easier. Yeah. yeah. You're there, you're there. Ah, yes. Oh, no. My stereo. It, it's gone. It, it's gone. What a bastards. They closed the door behind them. So where is Jade and John? Oh, she told me she wouldn't be back for another week. But I don't know where he is. Uh, oh well. I hope he's going to pay rent this time. Especially since he was the one who took the coins I left in my room. I know, because he was the last to leave. Wasn't he meant to put the TV in your room? Yeah. And Jade told him before she left. But didn't she have the only keys? Yeah. He's lucky it wasn't stolen. Yeah. So, you're set to go back to college, John? Kind of. I still can't believe we got robbed. What are you going to do about your stereo? Can't get it back, so it doesn't matter. Not that bothered anymore anyway, you know? Yeah, but what about everybody else? They seem to be quite pissed off. Their stereos were way more expensive. Well, it's scary to know that anybody could go through our stuff and take what they want. Yeah. And that service store is always open for newspaper deliveries, so it's no wonder anyone can get in. I disagree. It could also have been one of the shop assistants. Remember how they used to complain about our music? No, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a big coincidence that John has just bought all those clothes and a new stereo. <laughs> Come on, it's Christmas! A little too much for Christmas presents, don't you think? I still think it's someone from the shop downstairs. Maybe even the landlord. You only say that because you had nothing stolen. Don't be so naive. It was John. Pat, have you ever thought it may have been John? Well, with all you lot being paranoid, it had crossed my mind. I know it wasn't him. I know it's odd, but he was the last to leave the house 
And he's got all this new stuff. The new stereo. Look, that's enough. Everyone had new things, and I have seen photos of that stereo before. Yeah, but what about the gloves? Joe saw in his car. Oh, fuck off! That's sick. Look, if you're gonna be like that, I think you did it. I mean, none of your stuff was stolen, and your door was intact. Yeah. I guess you're right. Look, Pat, I know they all think it's my fault. They're just looking for someone to blame. Don't mind them. Yeah, OK, but I feel like you're the only one who trusts me. I don't know what to do. I just feel so awkward. I can't even behave naturally. Look, it won't be easy, but maybe you should try talking to them about it. I don't know. They all heard what the police said, that they haven't found anything. But they still want my head. Don't worry. Sooner or later, they'll calm down and realise it wasn't you. Maybe, but it'll never be the same again. Just ignore the sound of the traffic and the people. There's a male up there preening one of its chicks. Extraordinary. So? It's when they're in the air that... Is John going to own up? Spectacular. Own up to what? He hasn't done anything. Of course he has. Everybody in the room knows it. I don't know. What? You're on his side. That's great. Everybody's going mad. No, we're not. Can you prove he did it? Well? well the police couldn't even prove anything. They didn't find any fingerprints. Ah, so you're coming back to Earth now, Bjorn? No. Very good. No, not after everything he's done to me. I'm not sure. It's just, I guess he's innocent till proven guilty. And the landlord hasn't been any nicer to us, has he? He had a better reasons. Yeah, and the shop assistant and the security guard. Come on, John's our friend. No, I'm sorry. He's your friend. I didn't even know him before I start squatting here. Hi, John. Hello, everybody. Does, um, does anybody want a cup of tea?